So today we're going to go ahead and start pulling weeds out of the garden to get it ready next season. So as you can see, I got these. I pulled these already. And um, pretty much all I do is just until I feel the roots come out. It'll come a little closer to the roots. You get like a hand clap. Okay. And you can see the roots in these. And so once you see the roots, you know that you got them out. If you pull them out and you just see the grass part like this, then you know that there's um, roots in there and it will grow again. So when you do this, you got to really, you can kind of feel the, the roots pop out as you pull. And you know, the excess dirt sometimes has um, weeds on there. If you can shake it off, you know, try to save as much of the dirt as possible. Um, my mistake last time was that I, I threw a lot of my dirt away in the weeds. And um, when I was planting, when I was digging, I was realizing a lot of the dirt was gone. So I actually, I got some uh, outdoor, uh, outdoor soil and I'm going to add to some parts of this garden because of all the dirt that I threw away. So you got to be careful when you weed that you don't throw away a lot of the excess good dirt, especially now because you're searching, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, we've been working on it. We got, and we added a lot of compost to this dirt, so it's real, it's real uh, fertile right now. So I don't want to make the same mistake and throw um, and throw the dirt away like I did the last time. So that's something I'm trying to be cognizant of. Shake it off, shake the excess off, and keep it moving. I had green beans in this row, but I don't want to have green beans in this row for next season, so I'm just basically going to pull all the weeds out of this whole row and get it ready for us to till it in a couple of weeks. And that'll be less work when we till. When we till, it really should just only be dirt. You just you, you really want to just turn the dirt over and mix in whatever you're gonna mix in, like the manure and all that stuff, the fertilizer, the lime. You want to mix that in when you turn the, the soil over. So that's what we'll be doing. Now these weeds, I'm gonna use these weeds to make a natural fertilizer. I've been researching how to make natural fertilizer. And what they're saying is that you can use these weeds um, by boiling them and then using that water from that boil as fertilizer. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm saving these and I'm gonna experiment with that um, as time goes on. All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you my son, Blake. He's here helping weed the garden, getting it ready for next seasons. Now it seems like you're just picking it. Are you feeling the, the roots come out, pop out? Okay, great. Don't forget to get all the green that's around the, that's around the row. 
Because all that stuff does is just spread. Got to get all the borders. Remember to shake off the excess dirt. And what I notice is that when you pull a little slower, once you grab the base of the of the weed, you'll feel it. You'll feel the uh, roots loosen up and come and pop right out. But when you pull it too fast, that's when you tend to, to miss, you know, you tend to miss the roots. There you go. It's a slow pull. We're out here at the hottest part of the day. Um, and we're gonna probably stay out here um, until the sun goes down. Um. <laughs> well, until the temperature goes, we really got two hours out here basically. Yeah, it's what, two, two something? And I think by four something, the, the temperature will start going down. So that's when we'll go in the house. All right, seems like you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna work on the other side of the garden. And then we'll get the fertilizer and we'll start fertilizing whatever's out here. Now, I'm not doing all of the garden. I'm only doing some of the garden because um, some of the crops in this garden are actually thriving. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna like, just um, leave those the way they are but there's several areas that didn't um, really produce a harvest and those are the areas that we're going to uh, focus on also today I'm going to add a little fertilizer to the broccoli heads and um, just the rest of the uh, crops that are here so that they can grow a little bit bigger and have a chance of actually um, having a successful harvest What are you doing again? Getting what does that do, the pitchfork? What are you using it to do? Weeds are like parasite guys. If you don't remove them, they'll take over your whole garden. It makes it harder to distinguish from crops. Okay guys, so this is day one of us weeding out the garden. Um, this is my side. 
that I worked on. Um, as you can see, um, and I should have did like a before and after picture. I'll make sure I'll do that on day two. So as you can see, I got a lot of the weeds out. Um, I used my, my rake to help me pull them because some of the areas were really tight and it was hard to like get them out. So I had to kind of shake it up a little bit um, with the rake that I had um, and then just kind of pull the weeds out of the dirt like that. Like that. Um, so this was about one, I think I had about one, two, three, four, four. yeah, about four rows that I did. I'm not really completely done because I got to get some of the, the loose weeds out, but I'll be doing, I'll be finishing that up on day two. Um, we're going to go down and check on Blake's side. And going forward, I think I'm going to start pulling weeds like twice a month. Because if you don't, they, they, uh, it becomes out of control. And just makes it harder for you. Okay. So this is Blake's side. He has his pile of weeds right here. So tomorrow he'll be getting that out. Get picking that pile up. And this is what he's done so far. He's made a little progress. It started getting cold. My hands started getting really cold. So time to stop basically. And I put some gloves on after a while. I like to do, I like to feel the dirt, but um, my hands started getting cold. So <laughs> I put some gloves on and that made it a lot better. And this was the pile that we both kind of created right here that's our weed pile i saved some of the weeds like i said earlier um because i'm gonna make some uh weed tea not weed weed not marijuana weed <laughs> but weed tea and use it as a fertilizer i'm gonna try that so tomorrow blake will be working on one two three four five up to six hold on let me see is that six rows six seven yeah, he'll just be working on this side, period. That'll just make it easier. It's definitely over six rows, for sure. So. Alrighty. I think that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. I will be back. For round two. See you next time. Bye.